Hey everyone, and welcome back to a very long overdue episode on New Witch here, Let's Play. Uh, just first off, I'd just like to apologise for uh, the time between the last episode and this one. I've been extremely busy and not had much quiet time to sit down and record these videos without too many distractions. I am hoping to get that all sorted out soon so I can get these out uh, more often. Um, I say I can't remember exactly how long it's been, uh, but it's been far too long. I do know though I've had a quick look around. Uh, we do desperately need to get some more hay bales, so we'll be doing that today. Um, also, I think we've got field five with our sunflowers. We need to get some fertilizer on it if we actually can. Pretty sure I remember trying to do that last time and it wasn't quite ready to do. So not sure if it's um, at a stage where we can actually do that yet. So I may try and do that during this episode. I may leave it till um, in between this episode and the next one. Uh, field 24 is fully fertilised and that's growing with our soybeans. And um, field 8 is cultivated. So we could also look at getting a crop into that one as well. And um, we did purchase field 1 which is the sunflowers. Uh, I did re remember saying that we was going to leave that one until field 5 was ready to harvest and lease the sunflower header to use that to harvest those two fields so what we'll do we'll run up to our storage shed and we'll grab our mower or mowers the front and rear mower and we'll get our grass field cut to get us started now we'll have a look then what else we can do so we're going to need i will use the 7230 as we've got the front linkage on this I have got a couple of new mods installed uh, one is the I think it's enhanced drive control um, so I have to select the driving direction uh, main reason I've got that one on is I have now got the uh, Logitech G920 steering wheel although I'm not <laughs> using it this precise second I do have it enabled I do need to um, go through and adjust some of the settings on it, um, especially like the braking and steering. Uh, the dead zone on the steering needs adjusting a little bit as well. Um, so it's going to take me a while to get used to using that. Um, but once I'm a little bit more competent at using it, oh, I'm not the best angle to pick up the mower up. Um, I'll hopefully be using it a bit more during the videos. Um, I'm not probably not going to use it during the time lapses um, my only issue with using it is the camera control or the lack of camera control actually on the wheel um, so I'm having to if I use the wheel I have to use the mouse and for some reason when I use the mouse for the camera control it seems really jerky not very smooth um, if I just show you this is using the mouse and it kind of stutters a little bit um, compared to using the Xbox controller, feels a lot smoother. Um, so I'm so used to using that uh, the Xbox controller as well because I can adjust the camera uh, really easy using that. It kind of feels a bit more comfortable to use. So the steering wheel at the moment's like, uh, say, I want to try and get used to it, but I am going to look at getting the the side panel, so the Logitech side panel to go with it. Uh, which I think you can use then the joystick on that for camera control which will make life a little bit easier so we get our rear mower unfolded and the front one unfolded um, I did also get the Toby eye tracker and I've been using that a little bit uh, which is really good but I just don't think it had come across very well in videos as yeah the camera does move around a bit far too much especially because I'm not used to using the keyboard controls to uh, raise lower implements and turn things on um, I'm constantly looking down at the keyboard to see what button I'm pressing and then obviously the camera goes everywhere while I'm looking down so I think during videos that wouldn't look uh, the best uh, but for playing on my own then yeah it's great uh, but again it's one of those things that's going to take me a little while to get used to so I hope everyone's having a, a good week uh, currently Friday I'm hoping to try and get 
uh, two or three episodes recorded today because uh, I've got a little bit of quiet time. If the my wife's out at the theatre this evening, so I've got the house to myself. So I'm going to try and make the most of it. So yeah, if you haven't left left any comments on this particular video, then I probably won't have seen it um, come the next episode. So don't respond to it during that video. Then it's because I haven't read it yet. Uh, so yeah, I'm hoping to say get two or three videos done today uh, for next week and then my plan for the future is to try and get a similar thing where I'm gonna have to like block record these videos just to try and make sure I can actually get them out over the week because uh, at the moment I'm just recording videos as and when I get time that's a bit strange why that section there didn't leave any swath and it's just left a big mound at the end of the mower a bit peculiar yeah, so hopefully I can uh, say get a point of the week where I can record two or three episodes in one go and then I can just get those edited and rendered over the week as and when. So uh, hopefully that's my, uh, my plan anyway. So in terms of the animals, I think they're all fine apart from the the feed areas could do with cleaning out a little bit um, but they're not too bad maybe we could leave it for a little bit I right, say so we've got no fields to harvest you know, it's just field 5 that may need that little bit of a fertiliser if we can get some on I did mention, I think it was in the last episode as well that possibly taking out a loan to buy field 9 which is this one next to us which currently has soybeans in uh, so that might be a an option to do uh, just to give us that extra field uh, and as we don't have any loan currently it will be um, not too difficult to actually pay that off I have also uh, changed the difficulty back to easy economy which I had on Ravenport um, simply of the fact that again it's that uh, lack of progress by not being able to get episodes up just want to keep things moving along and because I'm not going to be able to get an episode a day or like four or five episodes a week on this series um, I think it's going to be better to just play on easy just to help things progress that a little bit quicker so I have switched that down to the easy difficulty um, which what I did on Ravenport but then uh, I say my plan for this series was to keep on top of it and keep up with the video so I'll change it back to normal uh, but yeah that didn't quite go to plan so this grass field actually now we've got the cow shed it's not quite as big as I remember it being <laughs> some reason I remember it being a little bit bigger so we may have to look at possibly investing in another grass field I definitely want to try and look at getting the the rear butterfly mowers uh, just to speed up doing the grass work as well just that little bit Uh, one thing I also want to try and look at doing today is getting the uh, shed built there in this end for us to keep our, our grass work equipment so we can keep the the mowers, uh, the baler and the the rake, windrower, uh, tedder um, so all our grass equipment could be kept down in this end uh, near the grass field obviously the the baler will obviously be used for straw as well but I think it'll be better off keeping it down here and we also do really need to look again some more cows I think we've got 24 at the moment 
So I would like to really start looking at increasing the numbers we've got so we can start increasing our milk production by quite a bit. Okay, so last little strip to do on this field and then what I think I'm going to do is increase our loan and buy the, the grass field opposite uh, the other side of the road from here. I do think we're going to need a little bit more um, grass over time uh, for doing hay, silage and stuff. So I think it might be worth doing that now. We just get those folded up. So the grass field is quite a big grass field, but I don't think we can utilize all of it because of the, the shape of it. Um, I think it slopes down a little bit towards the water that may be a little bit that we can't actually use. So we need to increase our loan. So we'll take it up to 130. That should be more than enough now and then we'll buy that grassland so that's $116,304 so we'll purchase that so what we'll do we'll leave this grass for a little bit and then we'll come back over that with the tedder so we'll go and get our new field cut so you say it's quite a lot bigger uh, than the field we've just cut now it does narrow down that end quite a bit we can see it is fairly uneven as well so how well some areas of it are actually going to cut I'm not quite sure and uh, the good thing is even though it's not numbered this is actually a field so you can see it requires plowing so there's no fertiliser on it but we can fertilise it obviously after we've got this cut which will obviously increase our yield so I'll get these unfolded and switch the front one on Get the low one low down and let's get this one cut. Okay, so last little bit to do on this field, and that's both our grass fields all mowed. And then what we'll do is we'll get the ted out and get the other field tedded first, and then come and do this one. So we can switch off those. Uh, so what we'll do now is we'll look at getting that shed built down here, and then we can put the mows in. I need to try and find one that's big enough to fit everything in that we've got so I think I remember looking before and um, getting one in and what we might need to do is move the water tanker out of the way so if we just drop off the remo up and get this moved out of the way I'll do it. I'm not sure if the cows need any water, but we'll, uh, as we've got it hooked up, we'll just top it up. So, not, not a huge amount. Must have obviously done it last time. Now, this area is pretty flat, so we shouldn't need to do any leveling or anything. So, we've got sheds. Um, I don't think there's uh, been any more 
sheds, apart from the update to the Euro Tunnel, which I can't remember was the last time, which um, it would be nice if some of these were individual sheds, then you could select an option like the cam with tractors and things rather than scrolling through 50 different ones. I'll probably just disable that mod because I'm not sure if we'll actually use any of those. They are nice buildings. Um, so I was thinking about this one. Um, just think, is that actually going to be big enough though for fitting everything in? So we've got a baler, uh, the mowers, the windrower, and the rake. So I'm yeah, not sure if that one's going to be big enough. That one's a little bit deeper. That one might work. And uh, that one's 25,000. Uh, I think. Possibly that one. Uh, too many, too many choices. Oh, that one's a little bit too big. I think that one possibly fit in. But I was trying to use different stuff from what we're using on Grizzly Mountain. I think that might be a little bit bigger than what we actually need. So I may go for the smaller one which is the cheaper option which is this one which i'm sure we should be able to fit everything in that uh, gives us a little bit more room to get in and out of it as well we come closer to this way not too close to the water and hopefully that's not gonna set everything cups so that looks pretty decent there so then we'll get some dirt texture just in front of this Bring that grass up. Uh, that doesn't look too well, it looks fairly flat. At least gives us a little bit of area. And um, we've got some working lights as well, so we should be able to fit everything in there. So, what we'll do, we'll drop off the front mower first. And then we'll get the rear mower in. Uh, and then I thought about the, uh, the straw blower as well. we could possibly get that in there. Oh, yeah, <laughs> probably could have done with a bigger shed. But, uh, this one I'll do for now. <laughs> I'm gonna change it. Um, so what we need to do is we need to get the tether and also get the the windrower, uh, which we'll probably do. I'll get the worker on follow me uh, doing that, and then can do the bailing while I do the the windrowing. So, speed up that process a little bit okay so I'm in the Maxim I've got the tether on the back of this I've also got the New Holland following the the baler and then the Magnum, uh, it's got the brake on just to bring everything down in one go. Save a few trips. So all I'll do, I'll just take these down there and get those two parked up out of the way and then we can get the tedding done. And if we just stop that one there. Stop that workout. And what I'll do is get the grass cut. Um, cut. <laughs> I don't want to cut it, we've already cut it once. Uh, get it tedded. Uh, one thing I did 
uh, remember when I was up there as well, we've also got the bale wrapper uh, to go in that shed, so yeah, it's going to be a tight squeeze to fit all our grass equipment in. I'm sure we'll uh, manage. So yeah, one of the other mods I've installed uh, since the last episode is the DEF mod, uh, the diesel exhaust fluid, or add blue, uh, more commonly known from where I am. Uh, so that is installed, so you can see you've got 98% on this tractor. I've got it on, I think I've got it on all the time-lapse uh, games as well, although I've never had to refill anything. Uh, Grizzly Mountain, I don't think there's actually any equipment on there that take add blue uh, that I've currently got. Uh, Felsbrunn's got a few but I've not actually say I've not actually had to refill it yet on any of the equipment so at some point we'll need to. Uh, it doesn't seem to go down very much. So we should get a decent amount of bales off these two fields. I should keep us going for a while anyway because we are currently only feeding the cows um, hay until we can get a feed mixer wagon and also then we need to look again some silage whether it be we do a cut on the grass for silage bales or we do um, get a loading wagon and do a cut on the grass and put it in the, the bunker silo that we've got um, not that we've got <laughs> we haven't actually built it yet the one I think that was in the last episode as well we was looking at uh, the bunker silo uh, I did say we was going to put one next to the manure pit um, so we could probably look at getting that sorted um, at some point as well and doing some silage because I've not done any silage in any of the let's plays because we didn't do it other than silage bales we didn't actually do any loose silage and one of the changes as well to FS19 with the fact that you have to own the BGA um, doing something like that at the BGA was obviously not an option um, on Ravenport because we never had the money to actually afford it So I'll do one of them this, um, I'll go and do the other field off camera, uh, get that one all tedded and then we can just look at getting the, getting it all raked up with the save, we'll get a work following with the New Holland on the, uh, the square baler and get this all baled up and then it's just a case of getting it all collected up off the field and then getting them into storage. Probably last couple of passes, and uh, this one should be done. Yeah, so this area here, I think, is the best place to get that uh, bunker silo in. I think it, remember it. Think when we tried it, it did fit in quite well there. The uh, common which size it was, possibly the medium one. I will have to go back through and have a look to see which one we was going to look at getting. So I've just got that last little bit to do. So all I'll do is I'll get this one finished off. I'll go and do the the other field, get that one all tedded, and then we'll come back and get it all bailed up. Okay, so we've got both fields tedded now, so we can get on with getting it raked up and bailed. So I've just put the the rake on the back of the Maxim and we can get a worker on follow me in the new Holland so let's get that unfolded and just check the bell capacity currently 4000 so we want to increase that to I think we was doing 8000 
Uh, so we want to turn that on, lower that down, and get that on to follow me. And then we can get this raked up and bailed all in one go. And it's just a case of getting the bales collected and get those into the actual shed. Well, we've got our first bulb which will be straw because we had all of 19 litres in the straw uh, of straw in the baler which is kind of a shame that you get like 90 odd percent of the bale is hay but it will still come out of straw just because you've got that tiny little bit in there I'm not quite sure why they changed it um, I think in 17 it was the other way around it was pretty much whatever the last thing that went in the baler is what the bale came out as so you could have like 95% of hay in there pick up that tiny little bit of straw and you'd end up with a full straw bale so it kind of works the opposite way around in 19 and that you only need to pick up that tiny tiny little bit of one material and that's what bale you'll get uh, regardless of percentage which It's a little, little bit frustrating at times that you can't do anything about it other than try and remember that if you don't think you've got enough material on the ground for a bale then not bother picking it up unless you know that's what you're going to be doing next time. Okay so last little bit to do on this field I think we've got about five six bales of hay and then we've got that one straw bale uh, so yeah not a huge amount um, bearing them on they are 8,000 litres capacity so double um, what we'd normally get so still not a considerable amount of Bales. So if we just can't really stop, I have to stop the work to switch off the uh, the baler. So hopefully we can get him across the road without any issues. He's quick enough, just about. So yeah, this field being a little bit bigger, um, but it's not got any fertilising stages on. So it's not going to be the best of yields, but I see any bales are going to be better than what we've currently got in storage. So it was enough to keep the horses and cows going for a little while. Uh, we'll probably get through them quite quick though, uh, once we start to get some more cows, because we are going to probably start using up quite a bit of hay until we can get the feed mixer wagon and silage all sorted and we won't need quite as much hay
Okay, so that's both fields all done, all braked, bailed up. We're gonna stop our work up, get that switched off, and get those last two bales ejected. Let's get that fold up. We do need to give everything a bit of a wash off, and I think the rake needs repairing. So if we have a look, we've got 21 bales in total, so that's 10 hay bales and the one straw. So that's what. Um, uh, 160,000 litres of hay, which I say, if we look at the cows currently, what we've got, uh, we've got 24 in total, uh, 19,000, probably what a quarter of their field trough. So you can see that even 160,000 litres of hay is not going to go a huge way. Um, so what we'll do is we'll get the baler parked up in this shed. We should be able to get the rake in and the bell wrapper as well, we'll bring that down. Clear up a little bit of space up the in the shed at the top yard. So there should be plenty of space to we get the bow wrapper in here and get the rake in here. Uh, there should be a little bit of space there for the skid steer because we're gonna have to put our hay bales in here. Do need to get those front weights um, taken up to the other yard because they don't need to be down here. Uh, that's the bucket off the front loader. And I've got the pallet forks for the skid steer as well. And the front loader as well, that can go up um, up to the other yard as well. Uh, so if we just go and grab our tractor, which I remember where we've actually left it. So we can get this put away. I'm pretty sure this needs repairing. It did seem to be... Uh, running a little bit slow so we'll take that up to the uh, the workshop also the toolbox outside the uh, outside the shed get that repaired so what I'll do I'll get all the bales uh, collected off the field and into the shed and we'll get, I'll get those into storage in between episodes try and get that f field 5 fertilized as well um, in between the next one and I probably think I don't know if it'll be ready to harvest yet but field 24 up here possibly will be uh, it would be nice uh, to get some fertilizer on the grass as well again it's something we'll probably look at trying to get done in the next episode so we're running out of time a little bit so let's just check that that's not too bad We'll get it repaired while we've got it up here. And... Can we actually buy a pressure washer? Um, no. Doesn't look like we have. Okay. I thought we'd... Uh, we'd got one. Obviously not. Uh, yeah, so there's the bale wrapper. Uh, we've also got the weeder as well, which... I think we've got weeds turned off. Um, yeah, weeds off. So we could actually sell that. And I'm also thinking as well of replacing the subsoil uh, for a chisel plow. So I think I've got a mod. I don't think I've got it enabled. I think I downloaded a mod. Um, it's a little bit bigger than that, not a huge amount, but it is uh, a little bit bigger and it'll be uh, obviously better for when we need to do the subsoil in. Uh, so obviously, I think it's just uh, does a plow texture, uh, which isn't obviously an issue as long as it removes the requirement for the, uh, the plowing, it'll be fine. As we've got the cultivator as well, so it'll be nice to upgrade that. So we'll get this in 
this side of the shed. Just straighten that up a little bit. So what I did, I'll put the tether just behind the front mower. Um, because obviously, if we need to use the tether, we'll have just obviously mowed some grass anyway, so the mower won't be in the way for getting that out. So we've got the mower and the tether in this section, and the baler in there, and we'll get the bale wrapper in that one. Uh, so then the skid steer, or the straw blower. I might actually put the straw blower in there. Uh, the skid steer we could keep. I don't think it'll fit in that shed with the bales unless we leave a gap in between. If we do two rows of hay bales, then there might be a gap in the middle to park the skid steer in. Possibly. <laughs> we'll see. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave this episode here. And so, I'll get all these tidied up. Um, I just want to make sure I can get another episode recorded today. Um, so I want to give myself enough time to get that done. So I hope you have enjoyed this episode. Again, apologies that it's been quite a while since the previous episode. Uh, if you have enjoyed this one, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you've not yet subscribed to the channel, then please do consider subscribing. We've got more Farm Simulator 19 videos coming. And... If you do have any questions, comments or suggestions, then please do leave them down in the comment section. Any questions I will try and answer as soon as possible. I do try and respond to as many comments as I can, but sometimes it's not always possible. There's just not enough time in the day for everything. So yeah, if I, if you do have a question and I don't reply to it, then it's not me just ignoring your question. It's the fact that I've probably not seen it or just haven't got time to respond to it. So... Again, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you again. Goodbye.